Well, we had a really wonderful day today because he had the HRH uh, Princess Royal come uh, on two occasions. One is to, of course, open the RIC, Renshaw Innovation Center, but also uh, to present us with our 18th Queen's Award. I have to say thank you for asking me to return to Mendishaw. Um, as I fly frequently over here, I've watched with interest um, this building grow, so to be asked to come and open it is... Uh, it's a real privilege. Well, it's Encoders getting its first Queen's Award, but importantly for Renishaw, it's the 18th and uh, Queen's Award for innovation as well as the commercial background. <laughs> well, I think it demonstrates the breadth of things that Renishaw is active in, and it shows also the markets which are essential to our kind of product this time, are broadening Renishaw's penetration into electronics outside of its conventional manufacturing to all the other processes that lie behind product that go into our machine parts. So PCBs, the previous to PCB assembling the semiconductor components and all of those things as well. We receive a lot of praise about how good the facility would service Renishaw and be able to take us forward in the future. Princess Royal was given the tour and this included our 3D printing products. It included the actual Queen's Award winner which is our uh, Resolute Encoder. We also saw the dental division's products, uh, also maxillofacial products associated with that division. We showed them the uh, uh, neuro robot and various products associated with that one and also uh, diagnostic divisions products were shown as well. Um, the opening of the RIC is, is is a really great thing as I see it. It's an innovation centre where engineers um, and project teams can work together um, in all different disciplines to hopefully come up with some of the great innovations of the future. We presented Her Royal Highness Princess Royal with a 3D printed titanium mill on the base plate of a piece of pine taken from the original mill structure. This is at one stage in the growth. As we grow, as you know, today we've gone from a few hundred people to 4,000 people. I can see no reason why that should stop. I mean, the challenges that we've got to do uh, are so vast in front of us, it's a case of choosing them. But there's plenty of, plenty of opportunity for growth. And we must have, of course, the people, which is everything, and the buildings, so they can actually carry out the necessary R&D temperature control labs, we can do things here in this building that we find very difficult in other buildings with the lab space so close to the, the R&D has been done. So it is definitely going to contribute to the future, there's no question about it.